And it is told by old ones that many, many races of people will gather. The black man, the white man, the yellow man. They will all come. And now they are all here. There's a few elderly, few knowledgeable ones yet that still possess this understanding. And the younger generation must learn these things from these ones, these knowledgeable ones. The keepers of the wisdom, the wisdom keepers of the knowledge, for they have many of the answers that the whole world is looking for. So what little knowledge that is left of this seed can grow once again. If you look around to all the, the birds, the winged ones, the four-legged, all the different relatives here on this earth, they are still singing the same song that they sung thousands of years ago. And it is only the two-legged now who has wandered off the sacred path and is abusing the sacredness in this world. The Great Spirit gave him the gift of taking care of other things. He gave him the understanding, the sacred power to, to decide so the two legged has to get back on the red road again. They must teach their children these things. They must bring this awareness to the world so that we can once again see a bright future for our children. So we have to humble ourselves and put generosity in our hearts and pray for that understanding and in that way, in the eyes of the Creator, we put ourselves above no one. But we put ourselves equally with everything, all living things in the world. It is the wish of the elders and many of our people that we try to, to pray and once again focus back on the original instructions. This drum is like the sound of the thunder beam, the heartbeat of our Mother Earth. So the Lakota people too, they carry this, this sound, this thunder, this heartbeat. They carry it within their hearts. The roundness of this drum is a reflection of the creation. And this drum is used for sun dance. And this drum is used to make beautiful music. And this drum is used for dancing. For when all the people can come together, be happy and dance and be as one. So this is what comes from the drum, the happiness, the wholeness, and the heart of our nation. For the Lakota were, were generous people. It's going to be up to us if we're going to pick up that understanding and carry it with us. It's still here, we have not lost it. All is not lost. There is a way that we can teach the world how to live a good life, how to respect Mother Earth, how to respect all the living things in this world. A 
what it really is to mean to Sundance. It's not to put yourself above anyone, but to put yourself equal with an ant. For that's how small we are in the eyes of the Creator. So we have to humble ourselves and put generosity in our hearts and pray for that understanding that we humble ourselves just like a little ant. And in that way, in the eyes of the Creator, we put ourselves above no one. But we put ourselves equally with everything, all living things in the world. That through this message that we want to share, the future generations can carry on these sacred things. What is a dream and a vision and a prayer of mine that through these few words and with what little knowledge that I have that I can send out this voice that there might come a day and a generation again that will pick up these ancient and beautiful ways and carry them that there might be those out there that might see and hear my words and be able to understand that we are all just human beings. And being that we are all human beings, we have a heart, we have a mind and a spirit. Gifts that were given to us by the Great Spirit so that we would be able to grow and live good lives. Lakota wisdom is not based on man-made laws, such as those of churches or governments, but on the unchanging laws of the universe. Truth cannot be conveniently altered according to need, circumstance, or changing time. Fundamental natural laws exist above and beyond the individual or organization that tries to change them. Our challenge is to realize and understand the relationship we have to these laws. Leroy Curley explains how the Lakota view natural laws, where all is connected, and how injuring or denying any one part inevitably affects the whole. Man-made laws such as the concept of money and religious beliefs are too open to interpretation and change, creating endless prejudices. Witness the Trail of Tears, Broken Indian Treaty, Territorial Rape, and the ethnic cleansing of Native Americans to this day. Lakota derive meaning for who they are and their existence through their connection with the land. For them, the Black Hills of South Dakota is one of their most sacred places. Beginning with the white settlers and culminating in the U.S. government requisitions, their land has gradually been taken away from them. Until we can restore unity to the circle by our own right action, not by action others have determined, the circle cannot be whole. And until one discovers and follows truth, as established by the Great Spirit, the way of the Red Road will be impossible. Oh, I can't think I can't gosh not. Can't gosh a lot, you know I can't. Oh, it's a bit of a loot down, you piaki. I have a whole pila. I like what the native walks, the rural paths, the urban paths, and the roads between to test the dangerous drives that play in pulse like roller coasters coaster drops and tilt-the-world spins, careening around the 
zip zone moods on former farm and country lanes, recording and mapping, hoping for a four leaf intersection, hoping for a four leaf intersection, hurling him straight, or someday he may grasp control at the steering wheel and softly twist a precise mixture of emotions for the tender fuel system of his soul. Thank you very much. Being that we are all human beings, we have a heart, we have a mind and a spirit. Gifts that were given to us by the Great Spirit so that we would be able to grow and live good lives. Mitakuya Watson. Dumb. The most important, that is the only thing I want to tell the world, this area. Maybe it will go to people's ear, generation, young generation. That's all I care today. I am in fear of the great mountain. Long time were told by the old people, sacred, how sacred it is. You see, when we have ceremony, prayer, the eagles were coming in the circle above, and now that no eagle see that because we're doing something maybe wrong. I don't know, I cannot say it, but it's for the young ones to know and someone to see. Yes, I'm finished time, I'm done. I'm finished. And long ago, Crazy Horse said that there would come a time of great suffering, beyond suffering, and that the Red Nation will rise again. And in that day, in that time, that the earth would be made beautiful once again. And he said, in that day, I see those among the Lakota who will carry the light of the world. And he said, in that day, in that time, the whole world will come and ask for this wisdom. And the Lakota people will share this light and show them the way. So I'm going now to pass this sacred feather on to the coming generation so that they too will carry the knowledge and be keepers of the wisdom.